Hey Gigabyte fans, welcome back to the Gigabyte Motherboards and Bricks channel. My name is Leon Chen and today we're going to be showing you a mini ITX board. We're going to be doing an unboxing and overview of this board so you can see the different features that we have on the board as well as some of the accessories that come with it. So let's look at the retail box first and then we'll open it up and take all the accessories out so you can see what comes out of the box. In the front, you can see this is an ultra durable board. It's using, it supports DDR4 and it has the new USB type C connector. We're using an Intel Z170 chipset. So it supports the newest sixth generation Intel core processors. Moving along to the back, you can see that it, we do include a wireless module. So you have wireless and Bluetooth already on the board. We have high-end audio with specific special audio capacitors as well as a noise guard or trace path lighting. We have that USB Type-C and we'll show you guys in a few minutes as well how that reversible connector works. It has dual NICs for Gig E NICs as well as support for the next generation form factors of storage, so PCIe Gen 3 by 4 M.2. It also has SATA Express as well as long lifespan, durable, solid black capacitors, and of course what Gigabyte's always been famous for, our dual BIOS technology. So let's open this up and take out the accessories so you can see what comes in the box. All right, now that all the accessories are laid out in front of us, let's go over them so you guys know what they are. There's a user's manual for you for the Z170N Wi-Fi, a multilingual installation guide, two SATA connectors uh, or SATA cables, one being a right angle connector and one being a straight cable connector, two driver discs, one for the board itself and one for the wireless module. This one is for the Bluetooth and wireless and you can choose to install it or if you don't plan to use that wireless, you can remove it and not install it. And of course, a padded rear IO for you to install on the back of the case and a Wi-Fi Bluetooth antenna. And this Bluetooth, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth antenna is actually, it actually has a magnetic base and it connects with two connectors. So it's actually a combo connector for both the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth simultaneously. Let's get these out of the way so we could talk a little bit more about the motherboard. Now, with the motherboard, it's actually, like we mentioned earlier, a mini ITX. This is a very small form factor, and we've managed to actually include a lot of features onto it. So let's go over some of these features. Right here, you can see we have our four pin CPU power. We have a debug port next to it, as well as the CPU power and a system fan. This board supports DDR4 and it has a one-sided locking mechanism. So when you install your, dim your DIMMs or your RAM modules, you just press down on one side and lock with the other. There's the 24 pin power, our front panel pin headers, and your speaker headers. SATA Express, two SATA Express ports, or you can use the total of the four SATA 3 ports and there's an additional two SATA ports directly on the top of the board right here. Right next to that, you have your PCI Express by 16 with the 16 PCI Express lanes coming from the CPU for any graphics cards you want to install. There's a USB 3.0 right in the middle of the board so you can actually get front panel connectivity for USB 3.0 and you have your front panel USB and your audio as well right here. As we turn the board around, you can actually see the audio part of the board. We're actually using capacitors similar to what you guys might have seen on our gaming boards. These are actually our Muse capacitors, which allow for better audio quality. And it actually also has the noise guard and audio trace path lighting on this board. Even though the board is so small, we've included this technology to provide for better audio performance. Let's move to the rear of the board. On the rear of the board, you can see the five audio connectors as well as a SPDIF for our optical. We have two Intel Gigabit NICs, two USB 3.0s, a USB Type-C connector, which we'll show in a few seconds on how it's reversible, 
two HDMI ports, the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth antenna connectors, a DVI-D, another two USB 3.0s, and a PS2 combo jack. Now, on this board we mentioned it also has an M.2 connector, which you can find on the back or bottom of the board. And this M.2 connector supports a 22 width by 60 length M.2 or 22 width by 80 length M.2. And this socket is a type three so uh, socket three for storage. Now let's show you guys what we mean when we talk about a reversible connector. So what I have here is our gigabyte three-in-one charging cable, and this is a Type-C connector. You can actually see it's an oval-shaped design. It's somewhat smaller than what you find in our standard USB and very similar to what you see in a micro USB. When we connect it to our Type-C slot, we can actually connect it in one direction, and when we take it out, if we actually rotate the connector and connect it, it'll still fit and the connection will still work. And this is what we mean when we say it's a reversible connector. So all of these technologies are things that you'll find on this Z170N Wi-Fi, USB 3.1 next generation form factors for M.2. If you guys wanna find out any additional information, please check on our product page at gigabyte.com. We hope you liked our video. Please like and subscribe. Leave some comments below. We'd love to hear some feedback. And if you guys want to find out more information about our motherboards, you can click on some of the boxes here or check out our Gigabyte page. And check on Facebook as well for any other information on promotions or sweepstakes. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you guys next time.